After completing this lesson, you'll be able to use the Sculpt tools to create a cylinder to wrap around the inner socket body and use the Freeform modelling tools to refine the inner socket body and thicken the material. OK, so we've built our inner socket liner using the residual limb mesh. Now what I want to do is build the inner socket. We're going to build the inner socket layer in a similar way that we did for the inner socket liner previously. So we need to click and select Create Form. Now that we're in the Sculpt environment, we can click Create, then click Cylinder. Select the ground plane, and using the View Cube, select the top view. Click from the center origin and drag out past the ghosted image of our inner socket liner. Then using the View Cube, click for a right side view, and then drag the cylinder up above the top of our profile drawing. In the dialog window, increase the height faces from four to six, then click OK to close the window. Drag to select the bottom edge of the cylinder, then click Modify Edit Form. And using the manipulator arrow, whilst holding the Alt key, drag down past the lower line of the profile sketch. Then click OK to close the dialog window. Now go to the browser and turn off the visibility for the canvases. Then go to the toolbar, click Modify, Pull. Drag a selection window around the cylinder, then click OK to close the dialog window. Click the home view, and if we look at the top edge of the inner socket body that we've just created, we can see that it's overlapping over the top. So we need to remove these edges by clicking and deleting them. Use the navigation tools to orbit around the model to do this. Until you're left with a nice crisp loop, around the top of the inner socket. And also what we need to do is create the lower part of the inner socket by following the contour of the mesh around the bottom. Double click on the bottom edge to create another loop. Then in the toolbar, click Modify, Edit, Form. Then holding Alt on the keyboard, using the manipulation tools, drag to add material to the form following the contours of the mesh as closely as possible. Use the manipulators to shrink the material and wrap it around the mesh. And then in the toolbar, click Modify, Fill Hole to complete the form. And then click OK to close the dialog window. So we've now got our second surface, which is the inner socket. Once again, our inner socket needs to be thickened. Click Home on the view cube. Then in the toolbar, click Modify and select Thicken. Select the inner socket body, and for thickness, enter 5mm. Then click OK to close the dialog window. Now go to the toolbar and click Finish Form. If we go to the browser, we can see that we've got our inner socket liner body, and now our new inner socket body. And we can see that the inner sock layer is protruding through the inner socket. So we'll need to use the Modify Edit Form tools to make some modifications to the inner socket layer. Let's go to the timeline and right click on the last feature, then select Edit. Then using the view cube, rotate the model around so that we can see the corner which is between the right side and the rear side. We're going to add another spline. So let's double click this edge, select Modify in the toolbar, then click Insert Edge. And then click OK to close the dialog window. And then with the new edge inserted, select this point, then click Modify Edit Form in the toolbar. Using the View Cube, rotate the model to the edge between the right side and the rear side. Then use the manipulation tools to pull out the inner socket so that the inner liner doesn't protrude through it. You may need to zoom in a little bit, and by selecting Edges and using the manipulation tools, take your time and slowly pull out the inner socket layer. Now use the view cube and the orbit tools to survey the inner socket layer to make sure that there are no other areas protruding through. Then click OK. And finally in the toolbar, click Finish Form. So that's our inner socket complete. We now have two layers, our inner socket liner and our inner socket. Now what we need to do is build the outer socket layer. 